people are turning out. And they're turning out to try to pick the person they think would be the best president, but also the person uh, as our nominee who would most likely be able to beat Trump. And clearly the Trump campaign and Trump himself know who they don't want to run against and know who they do want to run against. Hillary Clinton weighing in on who she thinks will be the best Democratic candidate to go up against President Trump come November. And it's not Bernie Sanders. She also slammed the senator and his supporters for their actions during the 2016 race against her. But the former Democratic nominee stopped just short of throwing her endorsement to Joe Biden. Let's bring in former White House chief of staff, former governor as well, John Sununu. Governor, good morning to you. Morning. Time is supposed to heal all wounds, but it sounds like four years isn't enough for Hillary Clinton when it comes to Bernie Sanders. Well, it sure sounded like that, but I think as almost everything the Clintons do, uh, there's a bigger purpose behind what's going on. I know you had Michael Goodwin on earlier, and he thinks the biggest purpose is that she is angling to be the default nominee of the party. Uh, but I think there's a slight variation to that. I think she's actually angling to be the vice presidential nominee, hoping that the party will understand that, that if Biden is the nominee, they've got to have a backup there that the public has confidence in, at least the Democratic side of the public has confidence in, might do the job. And since the party laid hands on her last time as the nominee, uh, she probably feels that she can make the credible case that she would be the better uh, alternative if Biden has to yield control of government. She also sort of relitigated the 2016 election in that conversation. As I want always, to play, play a bit of that for you. <laughs> his failure and the behavior of a lot of his top aides and certainly many of his supporters um, up to the convention, at the convention, and even up to uh, election day. Uh, was not helpful. Uh, I had thought we would unify. That's what we'd always done before. Talking there, obviously, about Bernie Sanders, uh, that doesn't exactly sound like a unifying statement uh, in, a, in and of itself. Well, well, again, I, I go back to, to my original premise, is that, that this, this all had a purpose, and the purpose was to reinforce Biden getting the nomination uh, uh, if that fails to reinforce the fact that she would be the better alternative, not Bernie, and then to uh, reinforce the fact that if Biden does get the nomination, she would add to the ticket more than anyone else. Uh, it's all structured around uh, the Clinton agenda, not the agenda of the Democratic Party. But she was obviously a failed presidential candidate in 2008, a failed presidential candidate in 2016. Do you really think the party would, would stomach her as a vice presidential candidate? And, and would she want to be vice president? Look, there's, there's still a long time for public uh, debate between Biden and Sanders. And if Biden begins to, continue, uh, begins to fall apart even more than he has fallen apart with his gaffes to date, uh, the party is desperately going to be looking for a third alternative, and that's what she's counting on, by either being the alternative at the top of the ticket or being the alternative as number two. John Sununu, former governor, former White House chief of staff. Governor, thank you.